Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 700. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 698 to 702. Hey, we've got a cool video here. We actually need to create a little template like this, week one note units. Have a formula here. Notice that formula is retrieving that. But when you copy it over two columns, this formula needs to only move Ref, as a reference over one cell. Now, the, so the key is we copy a formula, but it skips this column. It just ignores it, and it's as if it goes from B2 here. When you copy it over here, it only moves to C2. Now, let's go ahead and start over here. Our data set, we have date across the top, and it can be as, as big as you want, and units. And we're going to enter units as the, the weeks go by. So this is a week. Every Friday, we report our units. But our template required, we cannot transfer these down here side by side. All right, so the first thing I did was I created this, and I control 1. I used center across selection and wrap text instead of merge and center. Merge and center has some problems. Uh, center across selection tends to be more robust. I, I just added some labels here. I added wrap text here because these are going to be notes where you, you're going to type a bunch of things. And here's where you need to create our formula. And then we'll copy this whole thing like this. And we won't, we won't even have to bother copying and pasting and pasting. It'll do it automatically. Index function can look up given a column number because we're going to be dealing in columns. The trick is, is there a way for row number? Can we, as we copy a formula like this, can we get 1, 1, 2 for column? Because we want, when we get over to here, we need a 1 right here. But when we get here, we need a 2. Well, we just did, I just did this video, incrementing numbers in formulas. Here's a great use for one of those tricks. And actually, in the next video, too, is a great use for you know, sometimes esoteric incrementing numbers in formulas. So our goal is 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 equals int. That's just the integer. If we give it a decimal, it will take the integer always going down. In parentheses, columns. Columns is a great way, since we're moving across columns, to increment numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4 as you're copying across the columns. I'm sitting in B8, so I'm going to do dollar sign to lock the column, B8, colon B8. Now, that'll give us 1, 2, 3. I want to subtract 1 from that. Right now, it'll give us 0, 1, 2, 3. OK, you got that so far? Now let's divide this. And what's the um, repeat factor? One, we need 1, 1, 2, 2. So we're repeating the same number twice. So you divide by 2. Well, what's right now, this is uh, 1 column minus 1. What's 0 divided by 2? Well, it's zero. the integer of that will give us 0. right? So I'm going to close parentheses, and then I'm going to add 1. So that would be 1. Now, let's just see control it. Enter. You don't. It's not an array format. Copy it over one. Well, what's going on here? Columns B to C. Well, that's two columns. So two minus one is one divided by two is a half. But the integer always goes down. So half goes to zero, and then we add one. By the way, all you have to do is if you wanted to repeat the number one seven times, just put a seven there, which is what we'll do in our next video. That's the whole trick here. We just copy this. That's our row number, so you could see it works perfect. Copy equals index. Now, the values we're retrieving are here, and they could be all the way out there, however big your template is, and then F4 to lock it, comma, and then the row number. Control V. That's our little incrementer. Con uh, close parentheses, and that's not an array, just Control Enter. I Control Enter just because. Uh, or I could have just hit Enter there. Now watch this. This whole little template, and, and actually this copying trick works for however big your template. I make accounts for accounting and make the whole account with all the formulas and then copy it over and then all the rest of the accounts are done also. But watch this. As we go like this, what does it do? It copies that blank but and skips it so no formula goes there and boom. 
it's delivering exactly what we want. Now, we highlight this and we go however many weeks we have. I've, I think there's 10. You can see the screen tip right there, 10 weeks. So there we have it. Now, so there's our uh, skipping a column, right? So that 413 is that right there. The only last thing, and maybe the zeros don't matter to you. So you could just stop right there. That's simple enough. Uh, if it did matter and you wanted a blank, then you would copy that and go if that right there equals zero, since a blank is considered a zero, then the value, that's the logical test, the value of true is double quote, comma, the value of false, and then control V and paste it a second time. Control Enter, because or whatever. And then now when you copy this over, now you get blanks there. The first one without all the if stuff is perfectly fine and is the heart of uh, this video. All right, uh, next one too, we'll have a similar kind of uh, lookup situation where we need not just uh, column numbers, but also row numbers, and we'll use some fancy uh, incrementing number tricks from this video. Uh, well, actually, no, 692. All right, see you next trick.